Annotating student submissions using Turnitin Feedback Studio. Locate the Turnitin submission point containing the student work you need to mark within the content area of the VLE site the submission point has been inserted into. Click on the submission point to launch its assignment inbox and filter the assignment inbox to display submissions that are ready to be marked. Filtering the inbox before starting marking is critical when marking summative submissions. To view a listed submission, click on either the paper's title or the pencil icon in the grade column for that submission. This will cause Turnitin Feedback Studio to launch in a new window with the Instructor Feedback layer enabled. Note that providing feedback on a student's submission using grading forms or rubrics and the Feedback Summary field is covered in a separate video. To attach a comment to highlighted text within a student's displayed submission, as you might when using Microsoft Word or a Google Doc, click and drag your pointer across the text you wish to attach the comment to. A small tool panel will pop up when you release the mouse button. Click the middle speech bubble icon to start making a comment. A panel will appear containing a text entry field for you to type your comment into. A toolbar is provided above the field offering some basic text formatting options and you can change the colour of the text highlight using the coloured square at the top right of the panel. If a grading form or rubric is attached to the submission point, you can align your comments with one of the criteria present in the attached form or rubric. Click on the Assign Criterion link at the top left of the panel, and then click on the appropriate criterion from the list that appears on the comment panel. Click elsewhere in the submission window to dismiss the comment panel. If you need to reposition the speech bubble icon for a comment made on highlighted text, click, hold and drag on the icon. To indicate which highlight the speech bubble is associated with, a line will be drawn between the speech bubble icon and the text highlight when you release the click. To view an existing comment, click the speech bubble icon on the document. This reopens the text editing panel and allows you to make edits to it if needed. To delete the comment, click the dustbin icon in the bottom left corner of the panel. To strike through text, click and drag your pointer across the text you wish to strike through. When the tool panel appears after you release the mouse button, click the rightmost icon. This is a letter S with a horizontal line through its middle. To delete a strike through, roll over it and click the dustbin icon that appears above the strike through. You don't have to highlight text to insert a comment on the submission. Just click anywhere on the document, including on images or diagrams for example, and select the speech bubble icon from the tool panel that appears. Click, hold and drag on an inserted comment made in this way to reposition it if needed. To insert text commentary that is visible directly on the submission, click to insert a comment without highlighting text and select the T icon from the right of the tool panel, then type. Once text has been inserted on the submission, you can click on the text to re-edit it if needed. To reposition inserted text, move your pointer towards the edge of the text. When your pointer turns into a four-way pointing arrow, click and drag to move the text. To delete a text insertion, roll over it and click the dustbin icon that appears above the text. Quick marks are pre-written comments with a title and category and it is an annotation feature available from the right hand column of tools by clicking on the quick marks icon. The icon is a box with a tick in it. Quick marks can also be selected from the small comment insertion toolbar that appears when clicking on the submission or selecting text in the submission. When viewed in the right hand column, you can filter quick marks by category using the drop down at the top of the panel. And you can search the quick marks available using the search field below this. Click on one of the displayed quick marks to see the full text of the comment displayed at the bottom of the quick marks panel. You can bias the amount of space given to the list of quick marks and the description field by dragging on the dividing line between the two. You can drag and drop quick marks from the right hand panel onto the submission as needed. When selected for insertion from the small toolbar after highlighting text in a submission or by clicking somewhere on the submission, a quick marks panel will appear with a similar category filter and search field to those available at the right hand column. Click on a listed quick mark to complete its insertion. If you wish to provide additional commentary for an inserted quick mark, 
enter text into the field provided below the pre-written text of the quick mark. To reposition a quick mark, click, hold and drag on its label. If the quick mark is anchored to highlighted text within the submission, a line will be drawn between the speech bubble icon and the text highlight when you release the click. Click on a quick mark comment label to view it in full or to edit additional commentary. Quick marks, like your own comments, can be aligned with grading form or rubric criteria by clicking on the Assign Criterion link at the top left of the panel. To delete a quick mark, click on the dustbin icon at the bottom left of the panel. To convert one of your own comments to a quick mark, display your comment in full and then click the Convert to Quick Mark link at the bottom right of the panel. Give it a concise title and select a category for it to appear under. Quick marks you add yourself will be available to you when accessing Quick Marks in any Turnitin Feedback Studio submission point in future. It's worth noting here, however, that comments you add to Quick Marks yourself are only available to you, not other marking staff. The default Quick Mark comments and Quick Mark categories are defined at the institution level. So, if you would like to define a bank of Quick Marks that is available to your wider departmental or faculty colleagues, you will need to get in touch with the Program Design and Learning Technology team via vle-support at york.ac.uk to discuss this.